Hello there. Hi. Um. Uh, what am I doing? <laughs> Today is my 25th birthday and it's also six and a half months post chemo and just thought I'd say hello. I'm happy to be alive and well and healthy, healed inside and out and um hanging out by myself today which is good today I think I'm just going to go to church because it's Sunday and I've got a lot to be thankful about I can't believe what a crazy year I've had and uh, a crazy year and a half I should say it's actually nearly 3 o'clock and I'm just starting my day. Whew. Yep. I don't want to cry too much today, but I already have. And, um, you know, thank the Lord for good health. And I'm going to go now. I thought I would just say that today has been, whoops, that was a message. <laughs> Today's been a nice birthday. Nothing much has happened, nothing out of the ordinary, I would say. But it's been a very nice time for me to reflect and to really take in everything that has happened in my life <laughs> in the last you know year year and a year and a half two years and yeah you know when i had chemo last year and before that i was going through topical stero steroid withdrawal 
Ugh, I can't even English right now. Ah, <sighs> that was in the six months before I had chemotherapy. So, you know, basically from January to December, I had non-stop illnesses that progressively got worse. And it was a pretty crap year overall. You know, I just powered through it, I would say. I think it was the only way to get through and I had a lot of support from my friends and my family. And I think my faith in God got me through. Someone is constantly messaging me, um, what the heck? <laughs> but yeah, you know, I, I think that's the only way to get through. Just keep looking forward and, um, and then try not to get distracted by everything that is going on. Try not to be overwhelmed by what on earth is going on. And I had no idea, I think, how, I don't know, how crazy I was to have six months of chemo on my own. <laughs> That's pretty intense. And I feel like I'm only discovering those overwhelming emotions and those feelings of sadness. And uh, yeah, I feel kind of sad that I had to go through that. It's only hitting me now because a year ago when I had my birthday, I was at home by myself. It was literally a week before my first round of treatment and I ate pasta. I ate pasta and I watched anime and it was pretty sad. And I just can't believe I went through all of that. It's pretty crazy. And somehow I got through it. I'm just glad to be here. I feel like in the six and a half months post-treatment, what I've been trying to wrap my head around is how to move on after all of that happens. Just gonna make sure that I'm healthy and taking care of myself for what's to come. And I know that these things are good for my life. You know, challenges and trials, I feel like they're there to help me mature and help me to be appreciative of what I have and to help me understand more of who I am and what I'm able to overcome and you know I learn more about myself and I think I think I'm a pretty courageous person either courageous or crazy I'm not sure would you do six months of chemotherapy on your own um, yeah, I my mum kind of freaked out. She obviously wanted me to come home, but I was like, no, no, it's going to be fine. It's only three months, and then three months turned into four months, and then four months turned into six months. But hey, there's nothing that God can't do, and he's certainly helped me through all of that. So anyway, that's my birthday vlog. But yeah, I think I did well. I think I did well, despite all the crappy health issues. I think I did okay. So the only way is up, right? The first thing I listened to this morning was Move On Up by Curtis Mayfield. And that is going to be the motto for the rest of my 25th year of living. Move on up. Thank you, Curtis Mayfield, for your awesome tunes and your word of encouragement. I will. I will move on up. And that is it. I am out. Peace out. Bye.